Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 6 of Let's Pattern of the Evil Within 2. Alright, let's climb up into this uh, train here, turn around. Now, something really strange is going to happen as I walk into this uh, area. There's a dead body up there um, of a regular civilian. Um, there aren't too many in the game that actually do anything, but this one, for whatever reason, does this. It has some kind of weird ragdoll physics uh, as you approach. Um, it then disappears and you're left with a green gel. Now, the weird thing is that this green gel is worth exactly 24. There's no other place in the game where you can get um, that sort of denomination of, um, of gel. Um, so I have a feeling it's a reference to something, but I have absolutely no idea what is the reference to. Um, I guess those who are very, very knowledgeable about, I guess, Resident Evil or movies or both um, might know. So if you do know, please let me know in the comments. I don't know why it gives you 24. Um, here, uh, there are some high-grade parts. So I'll explain how these work in a sec. High-grade weapon parts. These components are higher quality than standard weapon parts. They can be used to unlock, to unlock a weapon's upgrade potential. So when you, um, you may have seen it when I was upgrading the pistol before, in order to get to sort of like the next tier of um, upgrades for that weapon, uh, you need to have weapon parts. So that's what those do. And we'll find, I believe it's 11 per playthrough, something like that. Uh, okay, so let's see, is there anything else in here? I think there was one more thing, wasn't there? Ah, yes, here we go. So now, this is the first of, I can't remember how many, I think it's 11 as well, um, mysterious objects. I don't know all the references, so you guys can help me out. I'll let that sound play out. Uh, mysterious mask, you feel like you've seen this before, but you can't quite put your finger on when or where that was. But at any rate, it looks pretty cool, so you decide to keep it in your room. So yeah, uh, there are mysterious objects. That one was known as the mysterious mask. And um, I don't know what game it's from, but my assumption is that because this was published by Bethesda, it's probably a Bethesda game. So if you guys know, um, let me know, because it's definitely not a Tango Gameworks game because they haven't um, done many others. Uh, yes, okay, just making sure that this is where we want to go. All right, so there's another enemy over there. Um, if we get too close, it'll see us. Um, this isn't a big deal on this difficulty. It is on harder difficulties, but let's see if I can... Actually, I want to test something. There's no trophy associated with it, but I want to try. See if I can get a headshot on this guy. Nope. Oh, what? I didn't mean to do that. Pika boo boo. Come on. Stay still. Ah, oh, what a joke. Fine. You die now. Alright, now stay here and get ready. Here they come. Close to midnight. Something evil's lurking in the dark. Ow. I can't aim. <laughs> Shake the control stick. Alright, so that ability there that I just used was called uh, Bottle Break. Alright, that's fine. Good aim, probably. It's very, you know what's really weird? When you're playing on an easier dif difficulty, sometimes you're so accustomed to playing on a harder difficulty that you can't actually play properly on the easier difficulty. Uh, maybe that's just me, but that's how it happens sometimes. I completely whiff or miss all of my shots. Uh, what was I doing? Yes, this is what I wanted. Smoke powder. This guy? Oh, yeah. I think we can kill this guy for some stuff. You can tell... Oh, crap. <laughs> Stop doing that. I'm sure we'll be able to get some handgun bullets soon. Sorry, right, we'll never run out, pretty much. You can also craft them using the gunpowder, and we have plenty on casual. Uh, yeah, if you see... Um, I should probably quickly have a read of what I was going to do next. Give me one sec. Um, yeah, that's fine. If you see... Uh, what is it? 
an enemy that's like um, slouched over and lying on the floor, um, but it has red eyes, they can probably be um, attacked. All right, let's get this. We can get, this one gives 500, and now we're gonna equip our communicator and hold square to tune again for another residual memory. Okay, so there's that residual memory. I'm not 100% sure what she's on about. I think I know, but I'll mention it in a sec. Uh, we can get red gel here. Red gel. This mysterious blood red liquid is used to open locked skill upgrade branches. So similar to the how the high grade weapon parts work for weapon upgrades, um, the red gel is uh, used for upgrading your uh, Sebastian's like skills. So it just upgrades the ability to learn them or unlocks the path to, to learn them. All right, and now let's explore the remainder of the last train. Just wanna make sure that I get everything. Checky, checky. Cool. Anything over here? Nope. All right, we can get a metal pipe, uh, some weapon parts, and I think that's it. Yep, that looks like it. And now we jump out of here. And back we go. Alright, next part. Let's see if we can keep exploring. Legit, man. It takes like an hour to explore this stupid chapter. There's so much to it. Very interesting choice for them to put this here. You know, I feel like they did such a much better job with um with the Evil Within with the first Evil Within, just because even though the third chapter was quite big in the first Evil Within, it was also... You can do that. <laughs> you can uh, destroy that like that. Um, let's leave that for a second, actually. Uh, yeah, even though the first, third chapter was quite big in the first Evil Within, this is, like, insanely big. <laughs> Another autosave. All right. Um, similar to the first game. Um, oh, I forgot to mention that. Yeah, I'll mention it in a sec. Um, similar to the first game, you hit these um, vending machines and you can get... Um, some certain items out of them. In this case, you can get uh, some green gel. This truck has a lot of um, enemies in there, so be careful with that. All right, and now we're in the Union Order Repair, and I'm pretty sure the door's locked, isn't it? Oh, no, okay. It does close, but it's not locked. All right, so we have a few things that we can collect in here. Got a fuse, metal pipe, and in here, a few more things. Nothing. <laughs> That's a good one. Um, weapon parts and another residual memory. Let's try this one. Okay, so the way this works is you can remove this um, panel of, of this um, thing and you need to flip, flip the switches um, in order to activate it. So the way it works is there are 10 red lights, or sorry, 10 lights underneath. Each one activates a certain amount. So that activates five, that activates six, that activates two, and that activates four. So six plus four is 10, and that's what you do to unlock it or to put the power back on now. An enemy is gonna come out of um, this doorway so stay here for a sec. And then carefully creep here. It should keep going forward. Now this one is a lot stronger than your regular enemy. So this attack is not going to kill it. Um, but it will weaken it a little bit. So I'm going to try and hide. Okay, that's a bad idea. Oh, that actually was going to work. Nope, nope, don't see me. Ah, oh, what a jerk. Alright, fine. 
<laughs> yeah, I knew I was gonna get attacked there. Oh, come on. She's very quick. And she doesn't move in, like, a predictable way. That makes that makes her pretty tough. Um, wait, what's in here? Did I go? Oh, okay. Don't know why I never thought to go in here. I mean, maybe I went in one of the times that I was doing this chapter, but yeah. Kick. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, let's use a syringe. Why not? We can activate this to raise it, and then that will allow us to get into the floor here. But before we do that, let's lower this one. Let's get these nails. And we can collect um, some gunpowder. I knew the window wasn't bro like, I knew the window wasn't there. And I attacked it because it took forever to activate. <laughs> I thought maybe it's there this time. Okay, so that's that. Let's go down. Oh yeah, what I was gonna say was the um I don't know if I've ever mentioned this and if I if I have then I assume the only time I would have mentioned it would have been in the first evil within Oh, well now I got this, so I'll keep a memory of it. <laughs> keep it in my mind. Okay, um, yeah, so that's seems like it's two two different people or you know two Mobius agents and Maybe one was higher up than the other or whatever um, Yeah, I, I don't know if I had said this in um During the first game, but the the locker keys that you find in the statues um, I don't know. I wonder if that's a um, reference to uh, What's it called? To the movie Frantic, which I'll very quickly explain in a moment here. You want to investigate this, you get a Union security card. Uh, you get this, it says this security card shows a grid of authentication codes used to access secure Mobius locations. So now if I've done this, nope, <laughs> I was going to say, if I did this quick enough, it'll be fine. What I was going to do, it doesn't really matter, like I said, we're on casual. But what I was going to do was I was going to pick up the card. Um, it, like basically if you come in here real quick, uh, you pick up the, pick up whatever it was here, um, gunpowder, pick up that, and then if you go here where there's like a little section, you stay behind, you can actually knife the guy and stealth, stealth kill. All right. So the way this works is, let's see. Yeah. All right. So the code on the door is B34, right? And if you look at our union security card, it says B, so yeah, it's a little bit confusing, but essentially you're looking for um, so the letter B and then the number three. So that's 96. And then you're looking for the letter B again and the letter f uh, the number four, 76. So it's 9676. Just a simple little puzzle to help you out there. A whole bunch of bullets. Our first medical kit. Medical kit contains medication that restores a moderate amount of health, better than a medical syringe. Medical uh, kits can be crafted from herbs. That's pretty nice. Weapon parts and another high-grade weapon parts. That's pretty good. Um, okay, so yeah, we're just going to go in here and get a bunch of stuff. Um, yeah, so it's very reminiscent of uh, kind of the main, one of the main plot lines in, um, in the movie Frantic with... Uh, with Harrison Ford. If you've never seen Frantic with Harrison Ford, please do yourself a favor and go watch that. It is, it is an amazing movie. Uh, report, uh, 592 disposal requests from Mobius Operative 73, Union designation Ted Sisson, uh, regarding the incident report. At approximately 2.30, citizen so-and-so, Jonathan with an with an H, <laughs> Jonathan Stevens entered an unauthorized Mobius area and witnessed sensitive materials. 
capture and reprogramming was unfortunately not an option. Was forced to institute, institute Zeta 5 emergency measures, requesting disposal unit at Union Order Repair. So is this what we just... Yeah, I think that's what we just witnessed with the residual memory. Okay. Explosive bolt. Yep, so the explosive bolt from the first game. Uh, the warhead on this crossbow uh, bolt will violently explode when activated, releasing damaging shrapnel into the surrounding area. You don't want to be near, near it when it goes off. Explosive bolts can be crafted by combining nails and gunpowder. Okay. Oh yeah, actually, if I'm not mistaken, that might have been really loud. Uh, I've been trying to play around with um, the audio and seeing if I can eliminate the hissing noise and I think I have but I've also inadvertently yeah if you cross that it activates this but you can just pick up a free explosive bolt um, if you're careful yeah I've been trying to play around with the audio a little bit um, to avoid to get rid of the hissing sound and it seems to have worked and it's also I'm pretty sure it's definitely loud enough now my audio uh, please turn around yeah good Okay. No. Oh, ah, oh, son of a gun. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. Uh, what was I saying? Who's seeing me? Can't be the one behind there. Oh, well, whatever. Yeah, and so it seems to be like really clear now, which is good. But it also seems like um, the like everything else is now heightened. Heightened. So like if I'm like moving around, <laughs> you might be able to hear it like quite clearly. Okay. Well, we'll see what happens anyway. All right. So there's a dude behind there, and I think I've tried to. I did this yesterday, so it should be like this. And then you go here and try and go this way. Turn, 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 turn. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> you just had to turn completely around, didn't you? How did that first one miss? Neck shot. <laughs> Should be a trophy for killing an enemy with a knife. I'm using a lot of bullets. Thinning them out. That's for killing 30, it looks like. 30 enemies. Okay, and now let's go over here real quick. Kill this dude. Uh-oh. How did you wake up? <laughs> How did you wake up? Oh, you got an axe. Oh my god. I have no bullets left. And... Uh, this is really bad. Oh, yay! I killed someone with a knife. Hooray! <laughs> I have not seen that animation yet. Um, so I could use field crafting here to get myself more handgun bullets, but as you can see, it'll take up all of my gunpowder, and I think that's not very smart, even on casual. If this was like nightmare, I would have been, uh, I would be being far more careful. Like I would be taking my time way more. Because it's on casual, I'm just kind of like, alright, let's just go through it, let's just get this done. <laughs> Smack. Another auto save randomly. <laughs> yeah, it seems to be like at key points in the chapter, but also when you've collected enough like supplies, alright, oh, you've collected a bunch of stuff, have an auto save. Okay, all of that. Take this. Did I miss anything there? Oh no, I was looking at those pallets. All right, and that takes care of this small area. Let's get out. All right, pretty much out of time again. Uh, what's next? Next is we're gonna go back here to where I unlocked the door. Open here, Just quickly take this guy out. That's interesting. Very interesting. Okay, there we go, finally. 
How strange was that? I was like right on him and he didn't die. What's that? Yeah, car alarm goes off. <laughs> What's that? What do you think it is, Sebastian? Nah, I forgive you, you've been through hell and back, so. He's been to hell and back and he's back there again. Uh, is there any way to climb in there? Yes, there is, isn't there? Yeah, you can climb here. Okay, cool. Um, Alright, so we'll hop into this. Uh, this is actually Union Auto Repair, and we'll continue from here next time. Just quickly grab these two things. There we go. Nice. Getting fairly lucky with the drops. On average, you should get approximately the same sort of drops as I do. So, yeah. Nice. Chopping, out, chopping multiple boxes at the same time. Alright, last thing, and we'll call it a day. Can't even remember what episode we're on. Six? Uh, da, da, da. Yes. Yeah, this is six. Alright, so I want to thank you all for watching episode six of Let's Pattern the Evil Within 2. My name is Ultima456. You're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.